police say 18-year-old Abdulia Sanchez was driving under the influence when she crashed her car with her 14-year-old sister inside. Another 14-year-old was also in the car and was badly injured. Police say the minors were not wearing seat belts. And now to some must-see video out of Arizona. A helicopter crew coming to the rescue of a dozen hikers left stranded by raging floodwaters. Cameras were rolling as a chopper hovered over Tanque Verde Falls, saving two of the hikers. In all, 17 were trapped. Two are still stuck on that cliff, but they're not in danger. Those rescued were not injured. Well, Shark Week is officially here, and to kick things off, Olympic great Michael Phelps faced off with the great white. Kind of, sort of. The swimming champ raced a computer simulated shark on an episode of the Discovery Channel's Shark Week programming. Phelps said he and a great white were not in the water at the same time, but other sharks rubbed up against the cage he was swimming in. Phelps and the shark will appear in another episode this Sunday night at 8 o'clock. So a lot of disappointment on Twitter People and social feel media. A little, a little yeah, <laughs> but I mean, come on! Did you really think that he was going to be racing a great white in open waters? Right, It'd be ridiculous. I mean, even the fact that he's in that cage. I mean, how how well can he really swim in there? But That's yes, funny. it's a ratings ploy. <laughs> yes, call exactly. it what it is. Folks. And it might have worked. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it did. All right, so you were very busy last night. Yes, it has been a busy all weekend, but yeah. really kind of really took off for us just after midnight last night. Oh. That storm developing in Prince George's and Arundel County. But once it got to the bay, I think there's just some extra circulation, some extra right. energy right over the water that really allowed it to take off. So at least now things have quieted down for us quite a bit. Still hot and muggy for cleanup or for whatever you have going on for today. Uh, this is where we're sitting right now, 86 degrees, but thanks to all the humidity it does feel more like 90. We do have quite a bit of sunshine out there that's going to allow us to continue to climb as we go throughout the next few hours. What we'll look for are not exactly this line of rain and thunderstorms, but a line that looks a lot like that, very spotty, kind of broken that will start to develop for us right along the spine of the Blue Ridge and working our way into Western Maryland. As we zoom in, you'll notice there's not really much showing up yet. Those little flecks of green, not going to be any rain actually coming down, but you'll notice quite a bit of sunshine allowing the temperatures to warm up. That heat, the humidity just allows us to spark off a few showers, a few thunderstorms later on today. Let's run through future casts again. You'll see as we get to right around two to three o'clock. That's when I expect some of this to fire up and you notice predominantly green. So more than likely just some light quick showers showers that'll fire up and then move out of here. But again, that chance that we could get a thunderstorm a little bit on the stronger side, not out of the question. Let's fast forward into Tuesday. That is going to be more of a dry day. We'll actually get our breeze finally out of the northwest. While there's some extra cloud cover, it is going to feel so much better tomorrow. Big improvement for us. Then even more cloud cover moves in for Wednesday. I think it's still a dry day, but more not exactly a pretty day for us on Wednesday. Around 93 degrees for our heat index at noon. We get up to about 95 or 96. So not as bad as it was this weekend, but still really warm and muggy overnight tonight. A break. Finally, those temperatures for more of the area dropping down into the 60s. Still a little on the muggy side. We're getting more comfortable, but not quite there until we get into tomorrow. Temperatures around lunchtime. Thanks to some of the extra cloud cover, the cooler air mass hanging right around the 80 degree mark. So finally a day you can get out of the office and enjoy your lunch outside. Your highs tomorrow about 86 for DC, 87 in Fredericksburg, 84 for Leesburg. So across the board, we'll see those big improvements just in time also for the Nats to get back in town. Our game Tuesday evening going to feel great. Another really nice one on Wednesday by Thursday. Our noon game temperatures do start to rebound a little bit for us. So we've got 92 today. We're in the mid 80s for Tuesday and Wednesday, keeping those days dry. But again, dealing with some extra cloud cover we will bring back in the chance for some rain and thunderstorms as we work our way into Thursday, Friday and Saturday of next weekend. But check out next weekend. Temperatures also in the mid 80s. We'll be right back. Renovation or total devastation? Hot veg. It's a down payment double cross. On it. Hi! <laughs> the dealership lied about the down payment. Well, at drive time, you can get your real down payment online before you shop. And everyone's approved. To drive time. <laughs> Get approved and know your down payment before you shop. Only at drive time. These days, phones talk. Hi, Bob. But what we need is a great leather sofa for under a grand. My Carter, only $9.99. Enjoy the luxury of 100% pure leather. Seat only $17.99 and, and only, only at, at Bob's Discount Furniture. 
You know, summertime is about vacation, spending time with family, and having fun. It's not about this, getting up on a ladder in the heat to clean out clogged gutters. Stop doing that. Call us here, Belden Leaf Guard, for the gutter that never clogs, guaranteed. We'll bring our factory and wheels to your home and make your Leaf Guard system on site with bigger downspouts and lots of colors to choose from. Watch this. Water goes in while leaves, pine needles, and other debris roll off. Leaf Guard handled it great. Uh, we had an awful lot of rain the last couple of days and we didn't get any clogs at all. All of the rain just went right down through the gutters. All the pine needles slid right off. Remember Leaf Guard, the same company, the same great product we've installed for years. Call Belden Leaf Guard now and get 76.